Sonic Adventure, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic Colors. What do all three of these games have in common? Here, I'll give you a minute. Did you say musical collaborations? Most likely not. The Sonic series has done various musical collaborations since the first game with Dreams Come True. While most of these are fairly well known, today I'll be telling you about the most obscure and weirdest music collab from this franchise. Sega's big console title for 2005, Shadow the Hedgehog, definitely needed some advertising power if it wanted to get off the shelves. Sega, in this instance, decided to collaborate with a music group named M-Flow. You don't know who that is? Well, let me tell you a little bit of the history about this group. M-Flow is a Japanese music group that has been doing music since 1997. The group consists of three members, Taku Takahashi, Verbal, and Lisa. They've dabbled in various music genres such as hip-hop, new jazz, lounge, techno, and even house music and even collaborated with such icons like the Teriyaki Boys and Kanye West. They've been pretty successful and are considered the most iconic hip-hop group in Japan. Since they were and still are an influential music group, how could Sega not reach out to them? The collaboration was considered a dream come true for them since Taku and Verbal were not only gamers, but also big fans of the character Shadow the Hedgehog. They decided to remix one of their banger songs, Tripod Baby, and released it under their Envelope Loves series. The song was used in various commercials in Japan and even had a music video dedicated for it. The music video itself is a very odd video to say the least and even follows a rather nonsensical plot. It shows Envelo in glorious 2005 CGI, flying through space and getting chased by Shadow, who apparently in this universe has his own spaceship. They all fall into a giant hole and then start dancing with golden Pepsi men. Yeah, this music video is a drug trip, but the remix kinda slaps. One thing I do have to ask is why did they use this song for a game as dark and edgy as Shadow the Hedgehog? It's almost downright contradictory if you think about it. However, I'm glad that such an odd piece of Sonic media has been preserved for all to see, albeit in crisp 240p quality from 10 year old YouTube videos. You know, I could have sworn that I stumbled upon this song in the video years ago. I, I just gotta check to make sure that I'm not going insane by any chance. I just have to see if this piece of my childhood is still available. Nice. Well, congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. I know this was definitely shorter than my normal essays, but hey, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Discord server and the other server in the link in the description below. I also have been starting to host SRB2 and SRB2 card games recently with the Discord server link as the title, and it's usually up between roughly these times. Anyway, I'm going to be experimenting with mods and custom game types for these servers, so I'd say definitely check it out when the server's up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later in the next Streister video.